What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. If you're here for the first time, I have to say welcome. My name is Frances Michelle. So happy that you are here in today's video. And if you're a returning subscriber, what's up? I hope you enjoy this video. So in today's video, for the as you saw on the title, you already know that this is going to be sharing with you guys um, my, my tips on starting your luxury collection, what you should look for and when you should buy it and how you should buy it. And I wanna share with you guys what has been my best luxury um, item that I've purchased um, that I use the heck out of. So I hope you enjoy this video. And if you do, please make sure you hit that like button. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get started and try to make this quick. I have so much information to share with you guys, and I want to give you as much information as possible under a certain amount of time. So today's video, I want to share with you all, if you are thinking of starting your collection on your luxury items, whether it is any, any luxury name brand, whichever it is, Louis Vuitton, whatever it is, if it's Gucci, Prada, Javenji, whatever you want to call it, um, Celine, whatever it is that you're trying to get your eye on, I want to kind of give you my tips on how I decided to start my luxury collection. So I just want to put a disclaimer out there. If you don't approve of buying luxury items, um, then this video is definitely not for you. I do not want any shaming. I do not want any um, talking, any cyberbullying. Um, if you are the type of person that you say, I will never buy a high-end product, I will never buy an $1,800 purse, um, then this video is not for you. But if you are here, it's because you want to um, buy your first luxury item and hopefully in hopes that you can make a collection. There's people who have collections of luxury items and I just think it's amazing because I see it as an investment. So if you are starting to get your hands on luxury items and you do not where, you do not know where to begin, I want to kind of help you out and tell you how I did it. So first of all, you have to determine whether you want this um, item to be your everyday purse. Um, let's talk about purse. So if you want to be if you want to be your everyday purse or you want something just to sit on the shelf and you're going to use only when you go out with your husband or your significant other on a date. Um, for me, I wanted to first buy staple items. Um, second, I wanted to buy items that I knew that were going to hold its value or even increase in value with time. And three, I wanted it to be practical. I wanted to be able to use the heck out of the purse uh, because I want to like if I paid certain amount of money for this, I want to use the heck out of this purse. I always urge people who are trying to get into the high-end um, name brand to kind of always find a resale value for your items. Um, a lot of these expensive items, they're always gonna go up in price. If you look at an item on the Louis Vuitton website, and you go into resale groups on Facebook, you'll see that most of these items, um, they go for at least 20 to 25% more of their asking price. That's why some people invest in these items because they do not lose their value and they go up in value actually. So be mindful of that. Some people start their some people start their collection of luxury items because they look at it as an investment. So whether you want this to be um, something you want to buy and just use it um, occasionally or you want this to be practical, make sure you do your research and you find something that is going to hold value or has a great resale value. In my case, my second purchase is I wanted it to be a more practical everyday wear that I wear the heck out of it. I did my research and I found the purse of my dreams for everyday wear. So the reason why I love this purse and I want to share with you guys all, it has amazing, amazing reviews and it's amazing. <laughs> this is the multi pochette in the monogram canvas with the dark green strap. I absolutely love the heck out of this thing. I mean, I know you can't love like material things, but you know what I mean. Like I love using her. She is so practical. I love, love, love using her. I use her all the time. Like if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see me wearing it all the time. There's a lot of pictures with me on it. I absolutely love this thing. I think it was a great investment. One, it's sold out everywhere. Two, people are looking for it like crazy. And if I wanted to sell this baby, I would get at least $400 over asking price, which is insane. The reason why I love this, it's so versatile. You can use it um, as a crossbody. See, you can use it like this. This cross, um, crossbody, it just fits perfect. It doesn't look bulky and it's just so, so pretty. I do want to say that the this Canva, the, the multi pochette only comes in the monogram Canva. Also, what I like about it is that it has a thick strap. As you can see, it has a bulky strap. And, okay, it has a bulky strap. Reason why is because 
when I use purses that have thin strap, it kind of starts hurting on my shoulder and I'm like, uh, I don't like it. So this right here is just super, super nice. So this multi pochette has three. You have the coin purse, you have the mini pochette, and then you have this bigger size of um, purse, which is looks like this. What I also love about this purse is that if I am going out with my husband and I kind of want to make my look a little bit more classy and I don't want to take something that is too bulky, I just detach the front part of the purse. And then I have a little tiny purse that looks so, so pretty with the gold um, strap. And I can take it and use it like this with a dress or whatever and it looks a little bit more on the dressier side than the whole entire like strap so it's so versatile guys and i absolutely love it i fit so many things in this purse in the back here i fit my wallet my sunglasses my hand sanitizer my lipstick my lip liner my lip gloss and my hand wipes all in the back purse I put my little AirPods in the coin purse right here. And then in the front purse, I put my reading glasses and I put my phone. And it fits perfectly and doesn't look bulky at all and I can close it with no problem. And actually, I use this when I go out. It's so practical, guys. I absolutely love it. I always recommend having a CA in your closed Louis Vuitton store, your local Louis Vuitton store because they can let you know when you get these things. This one right here, my CA at my local um, Louis Vuitton store called me and said, Francis, we got the multi bouchette in the green strap. Um, they only sent 13 to the United States and we got one. And I said, honey, <laughs> on my way. And I just sped and got into, not in sped, I'm kidding. I just got in my car and I drove speed limit and I got there. <laughs> but I was so excited when I saw her I tried her on I was like oh my god this is so pretty and I tell you like I use the heck out of this purse so um in my opinion I think that if you want to give yourself a little treat of buying yourself a high-end purse or shoes or whatever I say go for it but do it responsibly don't take away money from your rent, your mortgage, your kid's uh, mouth, your utilities. Um, don't just be responsible. How much the purse is? Francis, the purse is 1800 and you want to buy it in how much? I want to buy it in six months. Divide 1800 by six months and like that you know how much you have to save monthly. But when it comes to buying your first Louis Vuitton item, always do your research. Also, you can also use resales. Um, you can use um, pre-loved items i'm sorry you can also go into the pre-loved items a lot of these people who buy these purses they know how to take care of their purses and they know that people are looking for them in a good quality if they want to sell and make their money back you can always go the pre-loved drive there's nothing wrong with it I'll, i know a lot of people in the industry that have bought themselves pre-loved items and they just love them but yeah guys um let me see what else i i can tell you i think that the best thing you can do is go to your lo local louis vuitton store try out the purses make a connection with your um consultant um give them have them give you their number they do and um you can have a conversation you can keep in constant communication i keep in constant communication with my ca all the time I'm like listen i'm looking for this purse make sure that when you get it call me and that happened with my other perch um purses my other purchase, which I will share with you guys later on in this video, and then later on this channel. Um, but that's all I have for you. Honestly, I feel like you should treat yourself and you shouldn't feel bad. You shouldn't be ashamed of it. If you work hard, you should treat yourself. That's it. That's all I have to say. But I hope this video, you found it helpful. Um, if you want to start your luxury collection, um, you can start big or you can start small. Some people start in the small um, area. They start on the, what is it, um, SLG, which is the small leather goods. They start in the little pochette, the little keychain, blah, 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 the little wallet, and then they evolve into bigger purchases. But make sure you check the resale value just in case that later on the roll you decide to sell, you actually make your money back, and or you actually make a little bit more money on your purchase. So anyways, guys, I hope you liked the video. I hope I was helpful that I can help you with starting your collection. And if you have any questions, shoot them down below. I'll be more than happy to answer. Thank you so much for sticking to the end. I'll see you guys on my next video. Adios.